it, folks. It's about that time. It's time of the year again. We've got the food plot dissed up. We got the seed planted. We got the prospect of deer sitting back watching, ready for us to put our corn and feeders and stuff up because they're already eating everything else around. So now we're going to go set up our tree stand. It's about it's August 1st and it's actually about 80 degrees and a little cloudy today in North Carolina, which is rare for a summer day this time of the year. We usually just either get straight rain or straight heat. So we're going to take advantage of this day. We're going to go out here. I got my assistants, Michael Marciniak, which you're going to see a lot of Michael Marciniak hunting here on the Boneyard. And I've also got my other friend over here. We'll just call him Stanley Shackelford. And uh, he's, he's a little kin to Rusty. Y'all might know Rusty. So if any of y'all know Rusty, y'all will know Stanley over here too. But anyway, we're out here in the country riding around the bean fields you know i ain't gonna show too much i'm just gonna let y'all see a little bit of it because this is our spot you don't come hunt our spot and, you know so here we go we're about to show y'all what we had to do a little bit of hard work that comes into the whole fun of it all it's not all fun and games people um if you're gonna hunt you gotta work and uh if, if you don't work for it you ain't gonna be successful so we've learned that in the past and we're here to change a few things and here we go we're getting down the path Check it out. Well guys, here we are. We're at the spot. This is my little sweet hole, also known as Agua Dolce de Franklin County. Uh, this is where we, we've got everything. Michael has set it up with a good friend of the family, Rick Sharon. They came out here and, uh, and Josh Daly and they dissed everything up. Last year, as you guys know, um, it was kind of hard to see the deer coming out from uh, from behind us and up under us. There was a lot of trees and a lot of stuff that we really were having a hard time seeing them with. So this year, like I say, I don't really have to say much more. We'll be able to see now both lanes. We're going to put our stand over here in this clump of trees like we had last year later in the end of the season. Um, it was real successful. We, we got a big buck, saw a lot of other stuff there last year. So. Um, and as you can see, they planted a, a, a mix of different things, uh, turnip salad, um, soybean, um, a little bit of oats and different types of green stuff that's going to grow and keep these deer in this area. Um, also, we've got a cutover over here. Um, we've got a pond up here that they're drinking out of and we've got lots of soybean fields. Um, and this year there's a lot of tobacco around. So hopefully this is going to be a nice draw and keep the deer in here eating. Um, so let's just check it out we're gonna put the stands up and uh, wait and watch hopefully we'll have the trail camera out here for you soon and uh, stick back and, and check it out Alright guys, we just got the tree stand at the back of the truck, about to put it up, put some corn there yesterday, and y'all got to check this out. Looks good, looks good. What you do hard we got a strapper down. Um, these animals that we're hunting are smart, you know, they're very intelligent animals, and if they see movement, if, they, if you don't have a back cover, it's going to be really hard to, to get them in bow range, so um, we've got a nice little cover behind us, we're going to put a a nice cover in front of us and as you can see they've been eating like crazy out here Mike put some corn out the other day oh man I haven't even walked down here I'm excited just from his reaction let's check it out let's go down and see what happened alright guys as you can see we've already had a little bit of activity overnight I mean we, we planted this stuff last week um, you know, we've got clover growing right here like crazy, man. I mean, this corn, we're not even going to need to use this corn. This is going to save us a lot of money in the long run. And, uh, you know, of course, anytime you guys plant a food plot, check with your local farmers. Find out what's growing good for that year. Find out, you know, get a pH test for your soil and make sure that you're able to, to um, you know, support the type of, of foliage or whatever you're growing. And uh, do your research because it can be expensive. But if you do it right, you'll have success. Um, thank goodness I got you know a lot of friends and family around. Um, Michael, you know, and his, his buddies, they know they really know what they're doing. So um, here we go, guys. This is going to be a great season. We got corn on the ground. It's disappearing quick. 
We're going to have big bucks in here for you guys all year with the bow, the crossbow, the first ever caught on tape legal North Carolina Sunday bow hunt. That's right, you guys. We've got a new laws this year. You can bow hunt in North Carolina on Sundays. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I will be in church every Sunday morning in your beautiful forest, taking your beautiful animals. Now, what else can we say, guys? We'll see you guys later. Check us out at the Boneyard. Well, what do you think, Mike? I think we're about ready for deer season to come in, to be honest with you. Well, I guess the only thing else we can do is sit and wait. That's right. Get this bird let red in this tree stand and we'll be ready to go. Sure. Alright guys, just so you know, we just left the house and uh, we saw two deer eating on the apple trees about 40 feet from my back porch and uh, kind of a good sign. So we, we figured we've got some stuff that we made this year, you know, us college students, we don't have a lot of money to go spend on this nice stuff. Uh, even though when you do have it and you need it, you got to do it. Uh, we got bored one day this summer sitting around, we got a bunch of bamboo growing and we, we decided to make some feeders and some tents and stuff. So. We're going to show you guys how we did all that and do a little instructional video um, along with our, uh, our noodle jugs instructionals. Um, so sit back guys and like I said, keep watching the Boneyard. We're coming back live from the studio in a minute.